This message, by almost a low of fear, was translated into American English. Hello, men, women, and good children. As you've known, as you've heard, throughout the many reliable news sources, the NAFU party has attempted to claim victory and had attempted to claim victory before the election was finalized. This did not happen. This goes against your rights, your rights as voters, to choose which party is the most popular party and therefore has its leader as the leader of all of our glorious nation of Bagiria. Therefore, I have came upon a decision, privately, in secret, behind the back, if you will, of the co-leader. And that decision is that I will create Article 90. This will ensure, this will ensure that any political party, no matter how popular, if they claim victory before the elections have been finalized, before the election results have been founded, they shall have penalties put on them, for they cannot steal away the rights and the decision of the people. <laughs> for you, the people, have made the great decision of keeping me as your leader and keeping them in the secondary position where they deserve to be for the most scandalous of behaviors. Which is why, if they commit this act the next time election day swings around, they shall have very swift and utter penalties put against them, such as not having any political say in what goes on in our nation until the next election. And this, will, and this will ensure that your choice matters. That your choice cannot be made based on what any political party, regardless of its size, says your decision was. For you must remember, my, my beloved citizens, I am a most benevolent leader. And luckily you have realized this and chose to keep me as the leader and chose to make my party the most popular party in the entire council. And really, I would just love to take a moment to thank you all. Thank every citizen in here who could attend and all those out there that couldn't attend because this place is just simply too small for the amount of people. I'd like to thank you. And I am sure that for the next 10 years, greatness and glory shall come to this nation, and we shall be victorious. None shall defeat us under my leadership. None shall destroy us. I will protect us. I will protect this nation. I will protect you. None will be able 
to hurt any of you. None will be able to hurt this nation. None will be able to hurt the eagle of our glorious nation. And we shall move to a future, move to a future of glory and greatness and honor. For these are the principles that have led us nation for centuries, if not millennia. Which is why it is only wise to continue down this path. If it has brought us greatness in the past, why wouldn't it bring greatness to us in the future? Which is why I also want to thank you, dear citizens. Thank you for making the right choice. Making the right choice for the government. For only the government. For we only give the people the right, the privilege of voting. And we could easily take that away. But because you make the right choice and don't make foolish decisions, we allow you the privilege to vote. Which is why you are such great, beloved, powerful, strong citizens. After all, our citizens are so powerful that I started out as one of you, believe it or not. I started out as one of you little citizens. In fact, I started off lower than some of you. As you can recall from my book about my life. A biography, I'm pretty sure they call it on the earth. I'm pretty sure they call it a biography. But anyway, yes, as I explained in there, I started off on the streets of Pagiria City. I was the lowest. I was homeless. I had nowhere to go except for the streets. And then an epiphany came to me to run for political office. And lo and behold, we have gotten to this point, and I thank you, and I am humbled, that I am greatly honored by you, the great people. For you, the great people, made this great and correct decision to elect me as the leader of this glorious nation. And I have led this nation to glory. I have risen this nation higher than it's ever shown before. I have, made, I have risen this nation to the heights of the eagles that symbolize our nation. And I have made it fly higher than the eagles in the success that I have brought to this nation. And I hope to, in these next 10 years, bring more prosperity and more glory to our most glory-filled nation. And as always, Hail Pagiria!
Hey everyone, I just want to remind you to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the future. And as always, I love Poblan.